Hey everyone, and welcome to the Fox Checks. On this channel, I like to review products or restaurants and attractions that are around the LA area. Today, I'm gonna be heading over to East LA because there is this place there called Bison Burger that I wanna try out. So Bison Burger doesn't actually have like a restaurant, a food stand, a food truck or anything like that. Bison Burger is actually located inside of the Ramirez Beverage Center. Now I know a lot of people know Ramirez because they all go get their alcohol there. But how many of you guys have actually tried this place there called Bison Burger? So, yo siempre voy a Ramirez. I'm always stocking up right there for alcohol. Don Julio, Coronitas, Modelos, Jugo de Manzana, un poquito de todo. And I've always seen this place there called Bison Burger. But every time I go, well, I mean, I guess I go at night, right? When everyone's drinking, no one wants to eat at that hour. But every time I go, I never really see people at this place. So I got kind of curious to see how is the food. And besides that, I'm also very curious to know what a bison tastes like. What the heck is this thing? This animal looks huge, humongous. I have never seen one in real life in front of me standing. So what the heck? What's up with this animal? I can't believe people eat it, right? So I'm gonna be trying it out for the first time ever. I've never tried bison, but I'm very excited to see how it's gonna taste. But before getting there, let's check out their Instagram page. So the name of the Instagram page for this place is actually called Bison Burger Truck. And they have 1300 followers and it says right here, making the world a better place, one burger at a time, specializing in North American wild game and other exotic meats from all around the world. The address for this place is 2765 East Olympic Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. And right now I'm taking a look at their pictures to see what they sell. They got a picture here of a fish taco, which looks good. They got right here the order of the barbecue pulled pork plate. And those fries look like they are going to be really good. And is that coleslaw? It looks like coleslaw. It looks like it's really good too. And they got a video here of how they make their burgers. There goes the bread, the patties, the cheese, when they're flipping it, some papitas. Like, la verdad que todo se mira bueno. Like, I'm looking at the video right now and it kind of makes me want to take a bite out of it. And they also got a Kobe burger right here. And I'm looking at the picture and for some reason, this burger looks like it's gonna be really good. Looking at the bun, and I don't know if it's just the angle that they took of this burger, but the Kobe burger looks good. I definitely will try it out next time I come because today I'm here for the bison burger. But one thing about their Instagram is that they actually don't have too many pictures of their food. But that's okay because something that I thought was awesome about this place is that if you go to the description and you click on the link right here, it actually brings you to their website. So when you come to their website, like it literally has a picture of everything they sell with the prices and that way you're able to get a visual picture of what you're about to order. So I did think this was pretty neat and I wish more places did something like this because I think this is dope, you know. You look at what you're gonna order before you go. That way when you go, you know what you want. So let's see what we find when we get there. Right now, I'm making my way over to the Ramirez Beverage Center for the Bison Burger, right? But while we get over there, I'm gonna pass by this place donde venden unas carnitas bien buenas. They sell some delicious pork meat and they sell it right here on this corner. They're not here right now, but they're usually there from like eight to three or something like that. I did make a video for this place and I'll link it up here at the top so you guys can go check it out. Si te gustan las carnitas, you'll love it there. There's Burrito La Palma, my favorite place for birria. And here goes the Ramirez liquor store. I actually have made a video for Ramirez and I'll also link it up here at the top so y'all can go check it out after you're done with this one. Of course, this is Olympic right here. Very nice, I love East LA. It's such a nice place to come visit. And there goes the Ramirez beverage center. And of course on the bottom it says Bison Burger, which is what I'm here for. I mean, I'm also gonna get some alcohol, but I'm really here for the Bison Burger. And there goes Latino 96, oh, wait, wait. Mega 96.3, I'm getting old. <laughs> and they have this truck that's parked here and it says Bison Burger. They got the sign with the arrow. And right here, I actually checked out the Instagram page and I think they used to make their burgers in that grill that they have in the back. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But they do have this, this car that's parked in front and it's really cool. Look at the B and it has like the little horns from the Bison, which is really dope. I do like the artwork around the car. Look at this thing, Bison Burger. It's got these animals, all these different figures. It's really cool and it's an antique. Like this car is old. 
y, y está bien mantenido, you know? So I do think this is really neat. Look at that, that's an eagle, a fly, a spider web. It's got a lot of different things here. So it's a good place to come take a picture maybe for Instagram, but I do think this is pretty dope. So now we're gonna be making our way inside the Ramirez Beverage Center. And of course, if you guys see it over there, Bison Burger is over there in the corner. It's nice and orangey so that you can see it and not miss it. But of course, since I came to Ramirez Beverage Center, you guys, I did have to load up on a bunch of alcohol because I was running low. So I decided to also make this a uh, alcohol run, right? So I'm gonna get food and I'm gonna get some alcohol porque ya casi viene el fin de semana and I'm ready to drink. So I'm gonna pick up some things here and while I'm here shopping, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna place my order because I do think they're gonna take a while to make my food and that gives me some time to check out the Ramirez store and see what I wanna buy. Right here at the Bison Burger, they do have this Bison statue, which I think is really neat. And it almost makes me feel bad that I'm about to eat one of these things. Uh, Cause it looks like such a dope animal, right? Like with the horns, it's got like extra skin and all that stuff. Like it looks really dope. I feel bad for the Bisons out there, but I do want to see what it tastes like. And this is how it looks like. They got a picture of all their menu items. And this was something that I really liked because you guys know when you guys go to restaurants, for some reason, they're always lacking pictures, right? But right here, they got a picture of the item and the name at the bottom. So I think it's really cool. That way you get a, a visual picture of what you're about to order. On today's visit, I decided to order some pork fries because I need some fries to go with my burger, right? So these are the pork fries right here and the fries were really good. I like how the fries were soft and crunchy at the same time. I know it doesn't make sense, you guys, but the fries were kind of like just right, like that perfect condition to just grab them and eat them. That was something I did like. And here goes the carnita. The carnita that they put on top of the fries is really good. It's like a string, it's like broken down for you. So when you're eating your fries with your fork, you're able to get like some fries and some carnitas at the same time and eat it together, which was something I thought was really dope. Also, they put like some dressing on top of the fries that tastes kind of like uh, sugary, right? Like sweet. So if you don't like sweet stuff with carnitas, cause it was kind of random. I didn't know they, that the sauce was sweet, but I did like how it tasted. But if you don't like sweet sauce, then you might want to request that they don't add it at the top. But other than that, I did like the carnita fries or AKA the pork fries. They were very good. So if you decide to order these, I think you're gonna be happy. So now let's talk about the bison burger. So before we get started, today is St. Patrick's Day and I decided to go to bison burger today out of all the days I know and I was in for a surprise. So the bison burger bun is actually green today because you guys know how it's St. Patrick's Day. Well, you guys know you gotta wear green. So Bison Burger decided to have some custom green buns on their burgers. Now I don't mind it, but I do know some people might not like that. But don't worry, you guys are gonna go after St. Patrick's Day because this video is probably gonna come out a little bit later. So when you go, you will get like your bread, a regular piece of bread, you know? So don't worry about it. So now let's get started. So this was the Bison Burger. And of course, like I said, there's a green bun, but the Bison Burger was so delicious. Me encantó mucho. El Bison Burger, I never tried it, but I liked it because the meat was soft and it had such a juicy taste. Like, like every time you would bite it, se sentía jugoso, la hamburguesa. Y el pan was so soft. The bread of the bison burger was so soft. Softer than the buns at In-N-Out. I know, I know it's crazy that I'm saying that because the In-N-Out buns are soft to begin with, but this bun was softer than the In-N-Out buns. And when you would bite the bison burger con la carne and the vegetables and everything you put inside, it just 
tasted so delicious. Like, me encantó mucho. I liked it. I liked the bison burger. It was really good. It was expensive. I think this thing was like 15 bucks, but I definitely think it's worth it. While I was ordering my food today, I was looking at the menu and I saw something called brisket tacos. Now, I was looking at the pictures for the brisket tacos and they looked like they were gonna be good. So I decided to order some brisket tacos. This is how they look. So the brisket tacos are very good. I think they were cheap. They were like $2.50 and they gave me three, which was really cool. And the meat tasted soft. La tortilla was soft too. And that was something I liked. And tiene grasa, la carne. But I actually like this because I feel like it gave the taco like a more delicious flavor, which is very good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I definitely would pick these up again if I came. The brisket tacos were good. I see mira que le di la mordida al taco. And I do approve of them. Now, the only bad thing is that these tacos are supposed to have, uh, it says here, barbecue, brisket, cucumber, guacamole, and chipotle sauce. So, as you guys saw in the video, those tacos didn't have that stuff. I did request that they put that on the side because I just wanted to try the taco así natural and they didn't listen. They didn't even put the, the, the condiments on the side, right? The guacamole, the barbecue sauce. They didn't give it to me on the side. So, honestly, that kind of sucked right that they didn't follow directions but honestly this is a, a learning lesson you guys you're always supposed to check out the food that you order because i mean some a lot of times they don't do your order right so if you guys go make sure you check your order especially if you have any special instructions like i did today if you're enjoying the video do me a favor hit the delicious like button down below it helps me out a lot and also if you live in la and you want to keep seeing some more awesome places to check out around town Make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single week on places that you're going to want to go check out and some that you're going to want to avoid. Now that I told you guys what I thought about the food from this place, let's check out their Yelp page to see what other people thought. So on Yelp, this place has four stars and it's been rated 71 times. I think that's awesome because I did enjoy the food here and I definitely think this place does deserve the four stars that it holds. So I personally decided to give them four stars because I did like the food. The bison burger was good. The fries were good. The tacos were good. There was a little hiccup and they forgot to give me some stuff, but I guess it happens, you know? Other than that, I did like the food. I do think if you guys come and try this place out, you will enjoy it. It's in Ramirez. While you're here, pick up some alcohol, get some food, and go have a good time, you know? It's time for the verdict, you guys. And I'm gonna be giving this place four out of five stars and the reason that it's getting a four is because i thought the bison burger was very good this is my first time trying a bison burger and i'm very happy that it was a good experience because now whenever i go to any other place and they sell bison i'm gonna order one because it tasted really good right this place has introduced me to bison and i really liked it also i did enjoy the fries they were very good the pork fries eh, blandita la carne de puerco and it made a great combination with the fries of course the brisket tacos also were very good and i would definitely come back and order these especially when i go to ramirez maybe i'll order like some tacos and just take them to go you know si con botanear. i would also order these of course like i told you guys in the video uh you know they didn't follow some directions that i said but i guess that's that's normal right you're gonna uh stuff like that's gonna happen eventually but i definitely think you guys should check this place out especially if you guys come to ramirez you know get a burger get some tacos get some fries you won't be disappointed because the food is actually pretty good here and whenever i come to ramirez i'll definitely be sure to pick up some fries some tacos or something you know this was della fox checks and i approve a bison burger Thank <laughs> you.